Hello, my name is Masahiro Nakamura. My name is Noriaki Kawanabe. Now we would like to introduce our article. As shown in the previous studies, that's a very effective and useful device in achieving effective mandibular molar distalization. The purpose of this study was to elucidate the difference in treatment outcomes caused by the different mechanics of TADS and class 3 elastics in patients with class 3 malocclusion. Our study was retrospective and subjects were selected from our archives from 2000 to 2015. There was 11 patients in TADS group and 12 patients in elastic group. Lateral cephalograms from pre-treatment T1 and post-treatment T2 were used for the cephalometric analysis. At first, we compared the pre-treatment characteristics of both groups. There were no significant differences in any of the characteristics and measurements of the patient in the two groups. The mean changes and standard deviation in the changes of cephalometrics measurement at T2 and T1 are shown. In the both group, correct of overjet, the upper incisor proclination, the lower molar tip back, and decreased occlusal plane angle were observed. In the elastic group, the treatment produced significant change regarding to the extrusion of the lower incisors and upper molars. Accordingly, the clockwise rotation of the mandible and the increased A and B angle were observed. On the contrary, in the third group, the treatment produced significant change regarding to the more distal movement and the intrusion of lower molars, the bodily movement of the lower incisors and the reduced mandibular plane angle. There were also significant differences between the TATS and elastic group regarding from T2 to T1. The treatment with TATS produced a greater decrease in the mandibular plane and occlusal plane angles, a greater increase in the distal movement of the mandibular incisors and molars, and the intrusion of the mandibular molars. Finally, we compared the amount of distalization in relation to the site of TATS placement. The movement of mandibular incisors and molars did not differ to a statistically significant extent among the different sites. In conclusion, proper budget and class and molar relationships were achieved in both groups. However, the mandibular plane angle was increased in the class 3 elastic group, whereas it was decreased in the TADS group. Therefore, we suggest the use of class 3 elastic is preferred low angle short face patients while that is preferred high-angle long-face patients. Thank you for your attention.